basically uh, uh, not designed in current standards. We would like to rework this whole eastern side of the prairie field and come up with some uh, regulation fields, uh, probably three to four, uh, depending on what we can do there. And then you can see this buffer area here. This is uh, an area of existing topography that's very hilly and uh, some low areas, a lot of uh, oak trees, and this is kind of a natural buffer area that works very well to keep the, kind of the passive use of this woodland area from a little bit more active area in the pool. And you can see here we've outlined the, actually the tennis courts and the parking lot uh, and the pool itself together has a fairly good footprint on this about uh, just under three acres of impervable surface area. A couple of the, uh, the green here, you can see the little green dots. This is the existing pedestrian and vehicular circulation that is in place now in the park. You'll see uh, the transit stops right up here by the pool entrance and another two transit stops over here. And down in this particular area, uh, what we indicated here, there's a lot of conflicts that we'd like to take a look at in this process with the Jesuit line at Lexington intersection. There's very poor sight lines, as you're probably all aware of, and there's a lot of uh, conflicts with vehicles turning in and, and bikes going by at that point. So we want to look at this particular intersection. We've got a great uh, signalized intersection at Como that we'd like to take advantage of, and of course it is also signalized at the port. And um, so moving right, let's, uh, this is existing conditions, and then we get over to this side here, we've got uh, kind of an issues and opportunities board. And this takes a look at uh, what is going on around here, what, uh, what we really want to get into and look at. And I'll start with the McMurray Fields. We mentioned that this whole area here, again, they're not the standards. We want, uh, uh, you know, the opportunity here is that um, there is a potential to uh, reroute Jesuit Avenue at this point here, clean up this intersection in, in this point. And so we're going to look at possibly <coughs> taking Jesuit off of Lexington and just kind of have some different kind of uh, uh, rerouting of, of Jesuit Line. We've got uh, this potential parking area here. We have about 30 cars that park now for McMurray Field, but there's a kind of a elevated area here that is a really good opportunity to extend parking that could be used for this area and this area and the Coma Woodland Classroom. So it's kind of a big area in here for parking as well as uh, building a parking along Coma Avenue for me too. One of the things, um, the uh, uh, we talked about B here, the Park Central Maintenance Operations. Buell Lane goes through and, and allows access to Como and also for our uh, maintenance people to access the back part of this uh, storage area. Now, if we can uh, remove this uh, access, we don't really need access for our, our uh, uh, maintenance staff from Buell Lane, so that can be relocated more internally so we can get access to this. And there, we really actually do not need to connect this area here. So we do have the option to take a look at this. And again, this is something that I'm bringing up now. We're going to really have to have our traffic people take a look at this. But it does show that there's options that <coughs> maybe you can remove all of this asphalt here and kind of uh, uh, do a turn around at this point and turn around at this point, utilizing this whole area as more of a pedestrian-free zone. So what that does then is open up the green existing dots, it, it opens up some additional potential for uh, bike circulation through this area here, bike and pedestrian along this way. The, um, now the aquatic facility study area, this whole area in here, uh, we've basically just outlined this, this entire area that includes the existing pool all the way to about 100 feet from uh, the street. This is an area that we would look at uh, locating the facility in the sense that we want to maintain at a minimum a, a hundred foot buffer along the Simpson Parkway that would be a planted area, burned area, that kind of thing. And that kind of that is that hundred foot buffer is kind of been maintained kind of informally all the way around the park along Hammond Avenue has been uh, something that's been understood by the community as well as uh, Parks and Rec for uh, a number of years. So we're looking 
looking at, at uh, that kind of thing here, we've got uh, these two little stars indicate that here's the potential for access to the, this uh, pool and uh, product facility area. The uh, comments that we've been getting from the from you guys basically is that there is some conflict with people using the picnic grounds and parking in the parking lot for the Como Aquatic Facility. So we're looking at potentially this maybe is site access site uh, uh, for pedestrians and, and uh, bicycle only. And then this side along Como Island would be pedestrian bikes and vehicular access to the pool. So we take the vehicle access off the port into the pool site and bring it uh, this way. One thing we're going to want to have our, our traffic people take a look at to see if that really works. Um, and then that's it. Uh, this here is the East Picking Grounds, as you're well aware, the West Picking Grounds. This was commonly known as the Historic Active Recreation Area. And actually, for a lot of you, you probably didn't realize that these tennis courts were originally right here, uh, located here, and they were removed in probably the uh, late uh, 70s, late 60s. So, one of the things that we want to explore is, is there another place for these tennis courts that maybe is less of an impact on that whole site? In other words, is, is there a better location in this area somewhere uh, over here or even on another site off out of Como for the tennis courts would open, which mm -hmm. would allow us to open up this area and have a little bit more 